Okay guys, so today we're gonna build a pallet desk. Um, so if you like this kind of thing and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. But right now what I'm doing here is I am measuring the pallet uh, to see exactly how deep I need it to be. I had a glass top from an old broken desk that I was gonna put on top of here. Um, so I was measuring here and just got the uh, the dimension of the depth of what the glass top was going to be and of course cut the pallet to that size. <laughs> I used a chalk line here to mark that and I cut it with the skill saw on one side and then marked it on the bottom side as well and cut the pallet down on that side as well. Be real careful if you use a skill saw on a pallet. Um, part of this video you'll see I don't do that because it's safer to use like a, you know, a sawzall or something like that. But I sanded part of this down uh, just to get off some of the rough edges and stuff. Of course it's a pallet build so it's going to be rough. Uh, next I took another pallet and measured it to be the same size as this one. Uh, mostly this one is going to be used just for the boards because uh, I'm going to cut those boards off here in a moment and use those as gap fillers. Um, fill in the gaps so that I can have that as a desk top. I tried to use most of the structure of the pallets as much as possible. Uh, here I use a sawzall to cut through the nails on that one so I could use those boards. <clears throat> sawzall did pretty good going through those nails on that one. Uh, here I take the boards and try to fit them best I can. Of course, some of them is going to have to be trimmed. You know, just kind of test fitting here. Um, of course, with those boards, I have to take out the nails. So I used a nail from a pallet and just kind of knocked uh, the nail backwards through the pallet. And it came out pretty easily that way. Um, I did... <laughs> drop a nail here though. I'll show you what I did here though. Quick little hack. Um, drop a nail in the grass and it's not real easy to find. So we have some extra magnets laying around. This one's actually from an old speaker in the car. And we'll see if we can find it real quick. There you go. A lot easier to find metal with a magnet. Another magnet hack with that, I was keeping the nails together with another magnet. So after I got those nails out, it was safe to take them to the table saw and trim the edge of each of those boards so that they would fit a little better in each of those gaps to make it more like a tabletop. I wasn't concerned with the boards being off too much because, like I said, I was going to put a glass top on this anyway. But um, if you did one, you may be concerned about that. And just be more selective of the boards that you do use. Uh, of course, I had to use a little persuasion to get that one in. But once I got them in, I just nailed them in place with a, a nail in each side. And that held up pretty good. Next, I sanded the whole top just to make it a little more smooth. Again, you'll probably want to spend more time on that if you don't have a glass top to put on it. Uh, next, I took two more pallets, cut them down the same depth as I did those. Of course, on both sides. And these are going to be the sides of the desk. So, they're not going to be as long. Um, so, I cut, uh, I cut them to about what size the height of the desk would be here just to give me the size of the desk. And I used the Sawzall just in case I ran into any nails or anything like that. And then, of course, cut the bottom of the board here off. That way it made it more like table legs. And you can see right there, that is one side of my desk. And I did the same thing to the other pallet I had cut off there.
they said saws off awesome. But again, I'm trying to use as much of the structure of the pallet as I can to, use, to build this desk. And right here you can see a basic layout. And I also use one of the support beams in the pallet uh, as a cross beam on the back of the desk. As far as holding it together, it was simply nailing the uh, cross beam in. As far as the back structure goes, and again, there's not a whole lot of structure built to this because I used a lot of the pallet to, to actually be the structure of the desk here. Next, I just kind of set this up here and uh, set the top up. And I had some boards from a pallet that was a little wider and I just used those and nailed them in place to hold the side and the top together. After that this build is almost done. Um, it was not a bad build either so you'll see the final product in just a moment. I did realize that where I had changed my plan on it a little bit, um, I had cut it a little bit too long. So I ended up cutting the legs off of this just a little bit so it would set correctly where I was going to be setting this desk. Uh, I guess you could leave it longer if you wanted to use it as like a workbench or something like that. But I was actually using it as a desk computer desk. That's pretty well the final product. I do spray paint it. I spray painted it black and then put the glass top on it. This is my son helping me spray paint it here. And uh, I like spray paint and the black matches a lot of the stuff where I'm going to use this in our room. And uh, I hope you all like this build. Um, hope it encourages you to, that you can build one yourself. Um, that's the final product right there. We're showing it off with our hands. Um, but if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you can be updated for any future products, projects that I come up with. Oh, that's a spot of spray paint there. But anyway, I'm going to let my son send you all off with showing off the desk with the computer on it. So there you go. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.